This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. There are times when your Excel spreadsheets are going to neatly fit right on your screen, but other times they're going to be a little too large to fit. So what we want to talk about is how to maneuver and manipulate your scroll bars, because that's how you're going to get to where you want to be on your Excel spreadsheet. So let's go take a look at a spreadsheet that's a little too large for the screen. So here we have this one, and I'm just quickly and easily scrolling right now. This is my favorite trick. I'm using the wheel on my mouse. And all you do to use the wheel on your mouse is you pull towards you if you want to go down in your spreadsheet and you push away from you. Now you don't actually push, you just roll the mouse. When you want to go away from you, you go up in your spreadsheet. Now to go left and right, I don't know a way to use the mouse roller like I just taught you. The roll, it's just a light touch, you don't even push, that takes you up and down. Now if you actually push, let me move my mouse where you can see it better. I'm going to put it up here in A1. So my mouse is up here in A1, and now I'm pushing down on the mouse roller ball. And now you can see that there's a funny little new shape with left, right, up and down arrows. And this one actually, I'm just dragging my mouse just a little bit, and now it's auto-scrolling. And the further I drag from that shape, the faster it scrolls, right? Now let me go back up, and again, I'm just using my mouse. The further away I go, the faster it scrolls. Now this one you can actually scroll left and right also. There we go to the right, uh, let me go back to the left. And again, the further away you get from that planted point, the faster you can scroll. Now when you're finished with that, you let go of the wheel and you're no longer using the scroll. Now that's the wheel method for scrolling. Some people prefer your scroll bars. So over here on the right, the very far right of the screen, I'm just clicking in what's called the elevator button and I'm just clicking and dragging and that is scrolling me down my page and to go back up, I'm just scrolling back up. You can also use the arrows. There's an arrow at the top of the scroll bar. There's an arrow at the bottom of the scroll bar. Those you can just click once and they'll go one line at a time or you can click and hold. And when you click and hold, you scroll faster. It's totally up to you how you'd like to do that. And then the last option inside of the scroll bar is you can actually use what would be the elevator shaft if you actually had an elevator here. It's the part that's not the button. And I'm going toward the top and I'm just, a sing I'm just single clicking. And you can see that moves me about a window at a time or a screen at a time, depending on how far away you are from the elevator button. And then to move left and right, you have your scroll bar across the bottom that works exactly the same way that we just talked about. It allows you to go left and right. Now a little trick, a lot of people don't know this little trick, but on the scroll bar that goes left and right across the bottom of your screen, you have your arrow that points to the left and just a little bit to the left of that, I'm moving my mouse up and down here to help you find it. What we have here is a two-headed arrow and two-headed arrows always mean click me, hold me, drag me and I'll resize for you. So when I click this and I drag to the left, what happens is my scroll bar gets bigger and my sheet tabs start to disappear and I can go the other direction as well and I can drag this to the right. And the reason that that's available for you is sometimes you do need a larger scroll bar for going left and right and sometimes you'd prefer a smaller scroll bar so you can see your sheet tabs more clearly. So however you prefer to scroll, you now know that you can use your mouse to scroll if you'd like to by using the wheel on your mouse or you could choose to use your scroll bars. It doesn't matter. Find the preference that makes it fastest and easiest for you to get your work done. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.